morning welcome back to the fire burns within channel uh, I had the idea for this video whilst on YouTube and I saw another video where they were talking about a four album streak uh, of our uh, bands uh, but I thought four album is pushing it and I'll use the term hat trick uh, for those who don't know hat trick is a uh, football term soccer term uh, it means to score three goals in one match so anyway which uh, are my top 10 three album streaks of all time that's three consecutive albums by e by a band where every album is a killer almost or at least two killer one very good so I've come up with a top 10 it's it's a lot of my usual bands but I get to talk about the album streak the three and maybe not necessarily the three albums that you might think because a lot of them have four or five or you know more albums in a row which I really like but it's the three that you choose you know which which three are you going to choose I mean there was quite a lot of bands in this which I thought through and I decided uh, uh, to include in my top 10. Some bands will be missing, I mean for instance Judas Priest doesn't make this list. I couldn't really find three albums in a row from their discography which I really like. Slayer the same. Jeff Rotel, I do like three albums in a row but they don't make this list. Uh, Napalm Death again don't make this list iced earth I, I really like possibly three albums of theirs that it, they released in a row but so still don't make this list firewind uh yes yeah, saxon dark tranquility cannibal corpse there's loads more as well all these albums have released like uh, have long careers uh, they've had a good three album stretch but cannot make my top 10 so this is my top 10 albums with uh, uh bands with a three album killer stretch of music okay in 10th place we've got in flames starting with the jester race moving on to horacle and moving on to colony now um these three albums are you know just awesome they were released in quite quick succession i think within a four or five year span not not too long between them uh a v very cool melodic death very very close to one another especially horacle and colony they're just like uh brother and sister albums uh just the race is a little bit different it started off the uh, you know the run for me but these three albums absolutely killer melodic death metal okay in ninth place we've got testament starting with the new order moving on to practice what you preach moving on to souls of black now yeah testament i could have gone to the legacy i could have started it with the legacy actually but a lot of people would start it with the legacy but i started with the new order because i just feel the new order is when the production becomes a more uh you know more classic more listenable uh and then the practice what you preach is a killer album souls of black is slightly less good but it's still easily really good and the three albums are just classic testament you know one two three classic testament style thrash metal okay in eighth place we've got virgin steel uh starting with the marriage of heaven and hell part one and then you've got the follow-up marriage in heaven and hell part two and then you've got the almighty invictus now virgin steel on these three albums they they were at, absolutely at the top of the game David DeFay, he's on his absolute, you know, prolific best. He's like in his songwriting peak, vocal peak. Everything is, you know, as great as it's ever going to get in Virgin Steel. Uh, just, just awesome, epic, heavy metal 
you know some some will call it power metal but i just call virgin steel epic heavy metal rather than uh power metal as such but just awesome just three great great awesome albums culminating in the best one of all which is invictus i mean i love the marriage uh um albums but the story concludes uh with invictus um and then after that uh virgin steel would release the house of atreus double uh, album which is uh, separate but i mean you could say it's a five album streak really but for for the purposes of this video the triple album streak for virgin steel killer killer in seventh place we go to power wolf my favorite power metal band we start with preachers of the night then we go to blessed and possessed and then we go to the most recent album the sacrament of sin which is my favorite and then of course there's a new album coming out next month as well but for this video the last three albums are the streak that i'm going to concentrate on they were all awesome albums all very similar you know all just building on the success of the previous one you know N not tweaking not changing heavily just build 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 and then finally reach uh, sacrament of sin which in my opinion was the best power wolf album okay in sixth place we've got aman amarth starting with versus the world in 2002 fate of norns in 2004 and with Odin on our side in 2006 you know these three are starting with uh, versus the world which is which was literally I, I mean I heard I'm on a month before but I wasn't a huge fan but uh, versus the world brought me into like uh, becoming a big I'm on a month fan and then uh, fate of Norse non cements it and then with Odin on our side is just you know continuation two year two year two year gaps between them classic a monomath style viking melodic death metal you know their albums are very interchangeable those three i mean the albums that they've released after have been great as well i mean you could pick a lot of three album streaks in their discography very strong discography but for me this this trio uh, are just perfectly aligned with one another and the two year two year gap is also in perfect symmetry okay um in fifth place we go to metallica and of course this is a fairly easy one it starts with ride the lightning it goes to master of puppets and then and justice for all i think this is a fair trio to pick uh, some might pick kill them all but then you'd have to miss out on and justice for all so if you're gonna pick a hat trick you've got to start at ride the lightning master of puppets obviously and then and justice for all you know all three albums are quite different one another so they evolved a lot ride the lightning is sort of a little bit more raw a little bit heavy a little bit more thrashy uh, in places then you've got very sleek well-produced master of puppets and then you've got the epic sort of dark moody thrash metal of and justice for all you know it's a classic trio i mean I'm sure this trio will make most people's uh, hat trick list uh, if you if you look into it. Okay, in fourth place we've got the mighty Iron Maiden. Now, which three would you pick for Maiden? Right, this is a this is quite a toughie. A lot of people will come out with different three album streaks in their career. All, all mainly from the 80s, obviously. Maybe not too much from the latter period but for me it has to start with power slave um that means you're going to miss out on number of the beast you're going to miss out on peace of mind you're going to miss out on killers you're going to miss out on the first album you start with power slave you move to somewhere in time and then you finish up with seven son of a seven son this out this three album streak is just you know when maiden is at, at their most melodic most uh you know they've become you know what 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 they were intended to be you know this is the peak peak iron maiden for me this this three album streak it's a faultless streak every album is pretty much killer you know every album would probably rate 
uh, you know, around a nine or higher, or you know, eight point five, nine out of ten or higher. You know, very cool albums. Uh, that streak, you know, they the sound is excellent at that time as well. You know, they've moved away from their sort of earlier sound. They've become a slightly slicker, nicer sound. So I love those three albums in a row. Okay, the top three. Top three, uh, number three is Megadeth. Now you can. This is another controversial one. You, where do you start the three album streak? Do you go back? Do you go in the middle? Do you go later? Well, obviously the latter period is probably not going to feature. But for me, the three album streak is probably a little bit controversial because it's going to miss Peace Sales, but who's buying? And it's going to miss so far so good so what and it's gonna start at rust in peace it's gonna move to countdown to extinction and then it's gonna go to the melodic euthanasia now i love this album uh, you know this album progression you've got the very thrashy very technical rust in peace then you've got the streamlined crunchy you know fantastically technically efficient uh, countdown to extinction and then you've got the more radio friendly more melodic euthanasia where they become sort of more uh more radio friendly more melodic still a hint of thrash but it's just more mid-paced more melodic uh this out uh, this three album streak is for me megadeth's best although obviously it will mean missing out on peace sales because the reason I didn't include Peace Cells because I'm not a huge, huge fan of So Far So Good So What. So I prefer to start from Rust in Peace and then go to Countdown to Extinction and then go to Euthanasia. Okay, the top two in second place is the almighty Death. Now Death has seven albums, I believe. Where do you start this, uh, you know, three album streak? Uh, for me, it starts with the first uh, death album I ever heard, which is Individual Thought Patterns. Moves on to Symbolic in 1995, and then ends with the final death album, The Sound of Perseverance. Uh, I think these three albums in a row are, you know, Chuck Chuck's at his absolute progressive best. It's melodic. It's not so you know, it's not gore fixated. No slasher gory lyrics this, these are intelligent hu human based lyrics you know uh, philo philosophical lyrics about life so on the music is at its most technical most melodic um, I mean I love the previous albums I wanted to start from human but then I thought then I would miss out on the sound of perseverance and I, and I can't do that so <laughs> um, I've got to start at individual thought patterns Symbolic, which is literally my favorite death album of all time. I think uh, I just love Symbolic to bits, it's just killer. And then The Sound of Perseverance, a uh, great way to end that trio of albums and the band, of course. But my, no my number one trio of albums, <laughs> a different band altogether. My favourite band in all the world at the moment is the Almighty Eclipse from Sweden, Melodic Hard Rock. Now, where do you start? They've got a five album streak starting from the third album, Are You Ready to Rock, until Paradigm. So, not sure where, where to start, but I've got to start at Bleed and Scream, which is my favourite uh, Eclipse album. I just love Bleed and Scream. It's probably... The heaviest Eclipse album as well. It's a really, really killer album. Then I move on to Armageddon Eyes in 2015. Um, Bleeding Screen came out in 2012, I should add. Armageddon Eyes just follows up from uh, Bleeding Scream. It's a killer. Then you move on to Monumentum, which is again a killer, killer album um these three albums from eclipse i mean they're all interchangeable it's a great trio i love paradigm as well the latest one but it will miss out uh, <laughs> that's for uh, a four or five album streak but um since this video is dealing with a hat trick of videos 
these three are just absolutely killer i love eclipse to bits um you know all their songs are just amazingly catchy melodic you know great vocals from eric great songwriting just hooks galore one two three killer killer albums you could say five because from are you ready to rock onwards it's all killer non-stop so for the purpose of this video we've got these trio and that was my top 10 of hat trick three in a row killer albums in rock and heavy metal okay stay tuned